Hello everybody and welcome. I am the beta plan and this is Crusader Kings 2 where we play with the 0.3.2 Feyru mod as King Obold Many Arrows. I don't know how much longer he is going to live. He is 56. That is a ripe old age for orcs. And uh, But there is one more last hurrah I hope to do with him and that is putting it to Duchess Illustrial of Silvery Moon. Speaking of which, by the way, the man that held the lady's hand, uh, well, he died, the barony of the lady's hand, and of course we won't abide by the lady's hand. This is Groom's eye, of course. Come on. Not that this really matters, but Groom's eye? Yeah, this is orcish. It's fine. We'll go with that. Groom's eye. By the way, do I pronounce that correct? No, I write that correctly. Groom's eye. Yeah, no, I do that correctly. So, uh, and my son, he came for a title, or a, a nickname, and he is going to be Scrouge the Loyal, which makes me feel more that he is ready to, um, well, to actually learn of his father's footsteps. By the way, I've started to learn that this cancelling of an ambition, like he does, is pretty good, because you always get this journeyman trait, which I think is probably uh, 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 one of the bugs that you get this automatically, because if you get it, then stop having it, and then apply for another, you can gain many different classes. Like Scrouch, where I have just gone and be loyal to trying to be a fighter. In fact, I'm just a trained fighter. I feel like Obel oh, many arrows is so, so hurt. <laughs> By the way, yes, I can claim this county, and yes, it would become ours, because Yatar is of our dynasty, but it would become... A commonwealth, which means that you are not guaranteed who's going to be the heir, and I don't want that. I will conquer that later somehow, and make sure first that this is not a commonwealth, but a feudal land, and then we will go for it. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to crush, once again, this silvery moon. I have, by the way, spent quite a bit of money. I'm upgrading things to be give me militia training grounds. What the heck is this? Oh, it is if I want somebody else, a diplomat, an orc diplomat. Yeah, I can use you, you're pretty darn good, I will take that. Um, just do this. And we are about to, ooh, you got yourself a new son. Armanel. Alright. The Hullvilf. She's got a third heir. So this is our expiring two days left. This should be done now. Declare war. It is the first of Hammer. That means that Everlooms is going to have very, very shitty uh, grounds. But it is the best one to grab. As the, uh, this one is still, by the way, thrashed by us back in the day. Uh, but yeah, I am going to go for Everlund. It's the best province next to this. I'm going to cut them off of their Silver Moon Pass. And I hope that this, if I conquer this this right way, it will stop being a commonwealth. Because if we do conquest... No, I become his new liege. Oh. Still will become his new liege. I kind of would like to just grab the land. No, it's always going to be his new liege, which is a little annoying. Because I kind of want to get rid of this commonwealth thing. Oh, well, then again, maybe if we can get later religious re revocation, it should be fine. But I can't do that until 1388, and that's probably not something in the lifetime of Groom. Uh, of Groom. Yeah, no, he's King Obold. He is one-eyed, but he's not Groom. But yeah, I say we're going to... No, not the conquest. We're going to do the, the jour crime over Avalund. And we should have enough men of our own that we should be fine. We're gonna get her in Roven Crossing. No, actually, let me... Yeah, well, let's go here. That's fine. Should have done that immediately. So we had more overwhelming numbers. Oh, yes! Let this be the hurrah where I win! Illustrial herself is on the battlefield. Now, she has 53, I have 38. I'm much worse, but I want to try this. 
Ah, darn, I got severely injured. That woman... That woman puts this orc to shame. Uh, she will pay for this. Yes, she is my rival. Absolutely. Uh, is this mine? No, this is of the Moonwood. Oh, but there were troops of mine present in that battle. Okay. Severely injured, thanks to her. Yeah. Let's crush them. Uh, not that. Go Ooh, nice. Is that your? That's not D air. Could execute you. For freaking. Taking on and stop being on our side. 82, you might have been long lived, but you were beautiful and strong, but now you're dead. Mm. You kill me in battle, I kill one of your sons. How about that? Uh, defeated me in war. Oh, sorry, declared war, defeated me in war, usurped title, executed my child. Yeah, we are not friends. Not a, a long shot. Time to get to Everloon itself. It now should be in the middle of winter. Uh, sorry, in the middle of summer, not in the middle of winter, so we should have supply limit over here. Which we need to. Because right now we are in dire straits. Alright. It's gonna be a slow siege, which is a bit of a bang for us. Pretty bad for us. It's it's kind of horrible for us. All right, we got a knoll now in our our, our court. There's a new realm. Does it work? Anke, or are you? No, it did not work. See, this is the problem that I uh, experienced last time. Anke, they just got event spawn troop three thousand, and they still not settled, and they will keep doing this forever and ever and ever more. Oh. Interesting. Uh, that is a thing. But yeah, Anke, that's one of the, the, the big problems of Anke. It just keeps doing that. And it will, that message will pop up now pretty frequently. Up to the point that you're getting really fed up with it. Uh, but yeah, that, that's just something we're going to have to abide by. Nomads settled. They did settle properly. The Kingdom of the Kindle. So this did work again. I have no idea why Ankech always fills. And I actually have the 0.3.2 mod installed and it filled on me on all my test games. Uh, what is also going to fill is probably possibly the siege. Am I going to get through here for there's a severe winter hitting me again? No, I just lost Tons of people trying to siege here. I'm still going to continue on with it, because I, if I give up the siege, I'm going to have the same bloody timer issue again, so... Oh, Everloon, I hate sieging you. You're causing me all kinds of nastiness. Thank you, and now all of a sudden the, the, the limit is good enough, but... And it's a 100% war score, so we're gonna claim Everloon. Thank you so much. This is gone. Stand down in our lifetime, and we got uh, scarred. We didn't just get uh, a little scarred, no, we got a lot of them. We are now her main rival, which is fine. She has only 314 troops. You, you, I, I need to get rid of you. I would revoke the title. Can I do that? Are, are my subjects pleased enough with me? Yes, I can. Just revoke the bloody title. 
False accusations. Don't even know who you are. Good. Everloon is ours. That makes the steel marshes at least surround the steel marsh pass. I know it's not called that way normally, but that's what I'm going to name it, gosh darn it. The steel march pass. Mm, uh, the steel moon pass. Fine. And that means that we later on will be able to get a lot of control over it. But right now I need massive recruitment sprees again because yikes. Did we lose a lot of people to attrition there? But we were orcs and we persevered and we went through that sh shite. Um, military organization. Yeah, let's do that. Because it was about um, the amount of troops we could he hold here. Oh, indulgent wastrel. Now that isn't very good. Though you are brilliant. I cannot wait for this l this one to grow into full. You are lizard folk, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, not going to be a true dragon. Unlike this lady, who's a true dragon, a black dragon for that matter. Down here, in Cormir. I wonder if she's gets any special. She's wizardly elective. She follows the draconic gods, but. Her troops are zero. While having 21... That's interesting. Yeah, I don't want to claim this. Sorry. Vassal levies raised too long. In <laughs> the... You humans. I am surprised that he lived... He has lived through so many battles. So many times wounded. If he wasn't stressed... Here, and old age is minus 15. It just says old age. It doesn't say anything else about it. Known murderer. Never gonna get rid of that. Vicious rumors. Scandalous counselor. Well, that isn't good. <laughs> so many negatives. Would you please stop with this? Thank you. I, I'm... Yeah... I don't want to dismiss it. A son born. Just to an unknown father, so then both portraits can kick in. Uh, oh, well, then I know who it is. Dude. You want her? Why don't you marry her then? Was this girl, right? I think it was this girl. No, it was not you. Was it? I thought it was you. Oh, whatever. Yeah, dismiss for now. I'm getting a little, uh, a little annoyed with that claim. Keep kept popping up. Uh, you are being okay by a host, so it's not that she is expanding more. This is another yeah Commonwealth. We don't want that. I think you expanded. No, I believe the Griffin tribe was already like this. What we should do, we could... Yeah, maybe we should, because that will give us another 5% authority. Oh, people are trying to kill me. Plots are, are moving against me. The orcs, they smell their chance. Old age, yeah. But I'm, I'm kind, I'm really happy he lived to a ripe old age. We, we definitely now have her as a rival. <gasps> have her as a rival. Committed suicide. Oh my! What? She committed suicide. I mean, in my family, as some of you may be aware, actually, my niece took her own life, so... It, it is definitely something that I would... With the strongest and strongest words and conviction I can muster, always advise against this, in my opinion. 
but for the orc to have defeated for for Obol to have defeated her and as I would then see it as Obol push her into this is is wow. And the funny thing is this is still my rival. The new duke. Which is interesting because we don't have a thing uh, against him. Uh, 250 prestige. I don't care about that. I'm going to conquest. No, not going to conquest. I'm going to do your claim on the Silver Moon Pass. Do we have enough men to fight him? I almost would say I don't care, but I should care. Yeah, we have more than enough men to fight him. And it doesn't really matter whether I take... Now the Silver Moon is even uh, more underdeveloped than the, the Silver Moon Pass. Declare war for the Jure claim on the Silver Moon Pass. Shall we call this time in our allies? Yeah, let's do so. Because we've suffered enough from attrition, I don't want to suffer too much. Uh, you could also become a spy type person. Go into hiding. Yeah, people want to kill my ass. There it is. She ju she just did it. Ha ha! He who lasts 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 longest. Finally, that old cow, Duchess Illustrial, has left this fine earth. Well, ever fine Faerun, actually. Huh? Well, everything will definitely. Definitely not end that rivalry. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. Ooh! I now have... His son is ambitious and wants his father to fail. And... Ah, oh, darn it, he's catching out these troops. And this time it is midwinter. Uh, so, doing it again, midsummer. So we should be more than fine to siege this down. Did did my ally just get crushed? Did my ally send troops and then get totally crushed? I think that that was just happened. Oh, we're never gonna teach them etiquette. That, that's just... Let's just do one for faith. I have a feeling my ally came and got totally crushed. Was slain by... Yeah. Called him my ally and he got... He got murdered. Interestingly enough, even, his son is a bastard. The one that is inherited. I goucher. I'm sorry I killed the eye goucher line. <laughs> because that's the way that it feels now. This warlock. You have a son with... You... Yeah, you disowned him. Well, there's 41% in her favor. Let me just see there. Is this... No, there was no battle that was lost. Because he get, got out of the war or something? Because he definitely got slain by this dude. Oh, they they slay, slew each other in the same battle. That's interesting. He died a day later. Of course the orcs dies a day later. It doesn't die on the same day as a pansy human. That's Ankeh again, eh? right? Yeah. Yeah, Ankeh still uh, failing this. And therefore still getting way too many troops. Event spawn, 8,000. But once again, I haven't checked the 0.3.4 for this series because I know it breaks my save game. So I don't dare and do... I, I can't really check that out, but I, I assume they would have fixed that particular bug. Let's declare Dragon Spiker Conquest in the Hardsville. Oh! Sure, go ahead there, Urglan. 
once stepped in to fight a battle for me. I'm just gonna go over here, stand down the troops, and I'm going to say thank you. That is a beautiful terrain, and that in now you can see the mountains still not having our color, or do they? Well, we have a um, they should have our color. No, I think they are a bit gray. I mean, it's kind of hard to see with the, the snow, but I think they've been grayed. So they are now part of us. I just don't understand why the, the borders are still around there as if they aren't ours. But perhaps that's always is that way? I can't remember. But there it is. Why do I hold too much now? Oh, because night trees are still ours? Night tree is still ours. That's it. Um, you only have but one wife. Dude, you need way more wives. Take a genius one. Oh, she's 41. Luckily, this is an orc. There you go. Take her. We're gonna... Who's my third son that's alive? Yeah, but he already owns and holding Urgat. They're all dead. Then the next one is a double clan person, so that's fine. So then comes you, who has a yaunty wife. Or it's gonna have to be you, who ha will held the fork. I can't give you this, this land, I would love to, but then you were going to go and fight for the fork, which is a bad idea. But if I give you the night trees, I'm afraid that you won't become a feudal lord, which is what I want, of course. I guess I'm gonna give it to Mirador. I mean, you held land and you failed to hold on to it. You're failing. Uh, Gorg has become quite the fighter. I have to say. Morg is bisexual. Hmm. And has a decent stewardship for once. Perhaps give it to Morg? That means that none of my half orc children uh, rule, but that is maybe just fine. The other interesting one is Gulabar, because he's a genius, but... More many arrows. Or Gulabar many arrows. I mean, he's brilliant, but he's not super strong or anything. It's not like he is crazy good. You have a lot of orc children. You did well. I say we're going to give it to more many arrows. But first we're going to find you a wife. I don't know what your culture is. is the Pondran Fate, which teaches the, the detachment from earthly concerns, it was found millennia ago by a prince who became known as Padra and is now taught by Lamas from the remote land of Rakhati. Who... Ah, that's because I... N that's... No, that is just in the... Is it in the Tun Empire? Or not? Well, the Tun Empire, I'm from... I f well, I, I know of the name. Let me put it that way. You point... Oh, you have no lands. Right. How can I talk to you? You're like super far away. There's another nag guy, Yanti Abomination, not doing that. Then the Princess of the Steel Marshes. My daughter. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, I guess this is as good as any. Sure. Take it. Uh, there we are. 
Morgue. I'm going to grant you the land of title of the Night Trees. And I'm going to grant you the land of title of the Druar Woods. Congratulations. And you're a feudal lord, which is very nice. And for for orcs, yeah, I'm going to put you on the... Well, actually, I have a much better one. Autobar. Oh, but that is the one that lost its territory. Yeah. I'm afraid that if I... Then I would put the two duchies at odds. I could do the Dujour claim on this immediately. I will win this war. Before anyone else comes in. I am... I'm, I'm, I'm positive of that. He has a lot of allies, I've noticed, don't worry. I've noticed. But I feel confident. Uh, nope, people are already coming in. So this is gonna be a bit of a battle. But not long enough for that to matter. I should take it easier. Oh, I have become an old orc. No longer wrathful. Still brave, though. Still envious of what humans have. Uh, that I'm humble is just weird. Oh, and I gained dizzy. I am ill. Well, as I told you, we would win this war. Boom. And with that, you have two counties, so now I'm more than happy that you do not have a claim on the fork. And that gets us into trouble. This is a big steel marshes, because this duchy is not even part of the steel marshes. This is part of the savage north. Oh, and there it is. I die of severe stress, they tell me. General Malaz, a headache. They say stress, but it was a pretty big headache that ended the life of King Obold Many Arrows, ascended at the age of 60. He died of severe stress, never succeeding in making a name for himself. What? And so passes King Obold, King of the Orcs. If you are interested in seeing what Scrouge the Loyal might do with the legacy of his father, then do let me know in the comments. Because then I would have to continue playing 0.3.2. And otherwise we will start a brand new series in the latest version of this mod. I say I thank you for watching and remember, great peril yields great beauty.